So what is meditation? The purpose of… if we have to look at the purpose, if you sit in meditation, slowly it will become like this, your body is here, your mind is out there, what is you is somewhere else. Once these three things are happening separately, once there is a space between you and the body, between you and the mind, this is the end of suffering. Once the fear of suffering is taken away, only then you will keep your instinct of self-preservation down, otherwise you won't keep it down. As long as the fear of suffering is there, you will not keep the instinct of self-preservation down. The only reason why you are naturally not spiritual is because you have empowered your instinct of self-preservation too much. All the time it is trying to make you like a bubble in the world, separate bubble, not willing to mix with anything. So unless you keep your instinct of self-preservation down, you will not become spiritual in any way. You will not know life as one happening. You will always be an individual, trapped. Have you noticed even in your general life, when you're very happy, you keep your guards down? Isn't it so? When you're unhappy, fully shielded. When you're happy, little down, isn't it? When you're very happy, it's all down. Have you noticed this? So this is the reason why you're willing to be happy only among certain people. <laughs> because you don't know how to be just happy and still know where to stop life when it has to be stopped. You're willing to be happy only with five people in your life because you think that is the only safe atmosphere where you can be happy because you have always understood happiness as a certain vulnerability. See, just say you walk on the street, and you smile at anybody, they look like this. Why? What's their problem smiling back at you? <laughs> what are they going to lose? They think if I smile, he may exploit me. How will he exploit you? If he comes to pick your pocket, you can stop him. If he smiles, even a pickpocket smiles at you, why can't you smile at him? What is the problem? Just try today and see, just go out and smile. People who look like this, they're the surprise, somebody is making me vulnerable to life. They want to go on the street like rocks, they want to go home and become life. Doesn't work. After some time you become a rock there also. <laughs> if you want to be life, you must practice it everywhere, isn't it? <laughs> so, meditation gives you that space between you and your body, between you and your mind. Whatever suffering human beings have known, it has either entered them through the body or through the mind. Do you know any other kind of suffering? There are only two kinds of suffering, isn't it? Once you have a distance from these two things, this is the end of suffering. Once the fear of suffering is taken away, only then you are willing to venture into other dimensions of life. Otherwise, no matter what I tell you, you are only looking for safety. Good evening and welcome to Depression to Expression. Tonight we'll be doing a guided meditation together, one meant before bed. So before we really get started, I'd like you to get comfortable. This can mean puffing up your pillow, putting the sheets over top of you, having one foot out of the comforter and one in, whatever makes you comfortable. Now it's best for this exercise if you lay on your back and you can put your hands on your side, put your hands on your chest, whatever is comfortable for you. Now let's keep our eyes open for the time being and let's take a big deep breath together. Let's start inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the mouth on the count of three. One, two, three, inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth. 
through the mouth. Let's do that one more time. Inhale through the nose. And exhale through the mouth. Good. Now feel free to close your eyes. And let's take another deep breath together now with your eyes closed. Let's inhale through the nose. And exhale through the mouth. And once more, inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth. Now what can sometimes happen when we place our head on the pillow is our thoughts start to race and we think about our day and what we did right, what we did wrong, what we could have done better. And this is perfectly normal to have these thoughts at the end of the day. Now whether you had a good day or a bad day, whether things were going your way or nothing seemed to go right. I want to acknowledge the fact that you made it through the day. And if you were in pain, you got through it. If you were depressed or anxious at any point in the day, or sad, or missed someone, missed a deadline, made a mistake, it is now over, and you made it through the day. And I'd like you to try to smile, knowing that you made it through the day. Knowing that you gave it your all, and you did the best you could given your circumstances. Now let's begin to feel our body on the mattress, beginning with our neck, how we hold tension in our necks, let it soften onto the pillow, and same with our heads. Let's move down towards our shoulders and let them sink into the mattress. Notice how it's so soft. Focus on our upper arms and forearms. Let your arms just become heavy. And focus on your back and let it sink into the mattress as we move all the way down the spine, vertebrae by vertebrae. And let our pelvis sink into the soft mattress as we work our way down our legs, our thighs, our knees, and let them soften. And your calves, let them soften down to your ankles, to the soles of your feet, and your toes. how relaxed you are. You are in a safe place at this moment. You are in a safe place at this moment.
Now we may be thinking about our days. It's hard not to. You've been conscious for many hours and experienced many new things today. What I'd like to do is think of three things that happened today. But not just any three things. Three amazing things. Three things that you can think about that made you happy. I walked to work today and I took a longer route, but that's because the sun wasn't blocked by any buildings. And I walked to work in complete sunshine. And that's my amazing thought. I want you to think of three things that made you happy today. Just three, and these can be the smallest things that you may have overlooked in the moment. Let's think about three things now. As long as we focus on these little things in life that bring small sparks to our days, we can feel truly happy. We can feel like we did something right today. We can feel as though today did have purpose. If there were just three moments today where you noticed something different, when you noticed something amazing, when you had a small smile on your face, that means today was worth it. As we enter into sleep, let's acknowledge the fact that today was a blessing and we were alive today. We were conscious today and we made it through. If the day was easy, if the day was difficult, we made it through. And again, let's enter into sleep knowing no matter what happens in our lives, no matter what happens during the day. there are always at least three amazing moments. Now continue to breathe through your nose and 
enter into the deepest, most relaxing, well-deserved sleep that you've ever had. And know that you lived today. And you will live again tomorrow. Enjoy your sleep. Good night.